Toronto's Now magazine has been charged with communicating for the purposes of prostitution. The magazine maintains it's not breaking the law by allowing prostitutes to advertise. It says the ads are protected by free speech. Justin Smallbridge reports. The charges stem from the business personal section of the paper's classified ads. They're ads for prostitutes. The police say they acted because of complaints. Hey, we received a number of complaints from uh, people within the community, and as a result of those complaints, uh, we, along with uh, consultations with the Crown Attorney, this morning laid uh, 14 charges against the corporation, uh, now magazine. The charges are communicating for the purposes of prostitution. That's in the criminal code, although prostitution itself isn't a crime. Conviction carries a maximum penalty of a $2,000 fine and or six months in jail. It's the first time these charges have been laid against a publication in Toronto. Now says that running the ads helps cut down on street prostitution. Uh, the, the, uh, the business personals are a, 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 an alternative to, uh, to this problem, which is actually better for the community, better for uh, women, protecting women from the harassment uh, that goes on on the streets, and um, allowing prostitutes to um, carry on a trade which is age old. We have been a mirror on the city of Toronto for nine years, and we're holding that mirror up to the city of Toronto, and if they don't like what they see, don't blame the messenger. Lawyer Clayton Ruby has been hired to defend the magazine against the charges. He says there's also the issue of free speech involved here. What's a breach of the law is communicating for the prostitution in a public place. We don't think we do that at all. But even if we did do that, when you do it in a newspaper, which is an obligation under the Constitution to reflect the community, that is not a crime, that is not an offense. That's constitutionally protected free speech. First court appearance in this case is September the 28th. And that's... The weekly arts and entertainment magazine Now was charged this morning with 14 counts of communication for the purpose of prostitution. The charges stem from the personal business ads carried in the back of the magazine. Our job is to reflect the city um, honestly and without compromise. We have been a mirror on the city of Toronto for nine years and we're holding that mirror up to the city of Toronto and if they don't like what they see, don't blame the messenger. The sex trade is part it's part of this city. Our paper has never been afraid of confronting the truth and letting the, the uh, people of Toronto experience it. And we're certainly not prepared to uh, sweep this issue under the carpet right now. The personal ads in at least one weekly newspaper are a little too personal for Toronto police. The department's morality squad laid 14 charges of soliciting in a public place against the weekly paper now. It is the first time such charges have been laid against a newspaper. The paper's business personals offer a variety of sexual and erotic services. Some even accept credit cards. Now's lawyer says that the charges go against constitutional guarantees of freedom of the press. And the paper's editor said, says that the, act, act as a pub, that the ads act as a public service by taking solicitation off the streets. Roland Penner has some thoughts on the charges and the paper's claims. He's a former Attorney General of Manitoba, also the Dean of Law at the University of Manitoba, and Canada Live's legal columnist. Now, soliciting in a public place, illegal, I understand. How do you translate that to a newspaper placing an ad? That, I think, is the great difficulty that the Crown will face. As we know, prostitution itself is not an offense, and soliciting for the purposes of prostitution is not just uh, phrased in that way, an offense. It has to be everyone who, in a public place, as you uh, just noted. Now, it, it seems to me that the real difficulty the Crown has is, is not on the constitutional issue, but on the question of whether or not an ad in a newspaper is a public place and uh, for everything that I know in terms of how a place is defined mm -hmm. in criminal law and in the criminal code an ad in a newspaper is not a public well, place. I, I suppose it depends on whether you put the emphasis on the word public or place. It is certainly public whether a, 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 a newspaper that you open is a place or not. Well, it, it, clearly it isn't uh, a place and uh, there's all kinds of a law that would make that quite clear and when they uh, redefined the offense of soliciting for the purposes of prostitution 
uh, because of the previous Supreme Court decision which said there had to be an element of persistence. So they, they took that out and there was a question of whether or not a conversation carried on between someone on the street and someone on an automobile. And so they included an automobile as being a public place. So it's quite clear that they addressed their mind to both aspects of the offense, uh, place as well as public, and uh, there was no suggestion that an ad in a newspaper uh, would be, uh, would be um, uh, capable of being defined as a public place. Well, let's place. go to the other side. The, the newspaper responds by saying that, in fact, they are doing a good thing, that this is a benefit to society by putting these ads in a newspaper. Would that even come up in this argument? Well, no. Uh, the court could not be concerned with uh, very uh, vague sort of arguments mm -hmm. of that kind, uh, arguments that tend to bring the issue into uh, the moral arena, mm -hmm. for one thing, rather mm -hmm. than into strictly how is the crime defined. Uh, it, it is said in law that when you're going to inflict a punishment on anyone for doing something, you have to have, you have to have, has to be found guilty of every element of the offense and often definitions are key and certainly as I've said place or in another section of the code having to do with hiding something receptacle all of these things have well-known definitions and I just don't know of any definition of place that would include a newspaper so, well, we keep getting back to this uh, the, the definition of place I, I mean this is a huge question or a, perhaps a silly question why was the charge placed I mean what what sense do you make of it do you think it's got any chance of of even being carried Well, uh, the, the newspaper now, I think it's called, uh, is alleging that they're being harassed by the police <laughs> because of uh, stories they're they've carried about, uh, about alleged uh, police wrongdoing. Now, uh, w one doesn't know that, and, and one has to put that aside. I don't know why, other than sometimes the police respond to public pressure or the pressure of some influential groups. It may be that some of the moral guardians of society have been in touch with the police and have said that uh, very explicit. And some of it is quite explicit, although uh, apparently they can't uh, make a specific re reference to specific body parts. Mm -hmm. But it's quite clear what is being advertised and that it is for money and therefore is for the purposes of prostitution. But is it soliciting for prostitution, purposes of prostitution in a public place? Just one final question. Is freedom of the press any kind of an, uh, uh, an issue here? No. I think that uh, the suggestion that the newspaper could defend itself by the uh, relying on freedom of the press flies in the face of the most recent decision of the Supreme Court, one that is just a few months old, which in the case of in, in Manitoba said that while commercial speech uh, comes within the general guarantee of freedom of speech, freedom of communication, freedom of the media, and so on. Nevertheless, uh, a limitation on that right is acceptable if it is uh, reasonable in a free and democratic society. And they have said that the criminal prohibition of soliciting for the purposes of prostitution uh, in a public place is a reasonable limit on freedom of uh, communication. Thank you very much. Okay. Four directors of Now magazine have been charged with communicating for the purpose of prostitution. The charges are identical to those laid last week against Now Communications, the magazine's publisher. Those charges are in connection with the magazine's personal advertising section. CFTO's Sean Murray has more. The magazine's directors say they were surprised to see themselves facing personal charges, although they were tipped off by police, as was the news media. Police said last week the charges followed a complaint over advertising they claim amounts to advertising for prostitution. But editor and publisher Michael Hollett says other publications run similar ads, and he believes now is being singled out over its past criticism of the police. This is police harassment. They don't want publishers and newspaper editors making trouble for the police in this country. I have to draw that conclusion based on today's actions. Executive editor Alice Klein agrees and says the magazine and its lawyers are prepared for a fight. You know, in a way, what is happening to us is that, you know, we are feeling what everybody who has been perhaps subjected to really potential unfair police harassment is feeling and but I feel lucky because we're gonna fight back we are gonna take this on um, we're not going to we're gonna resist this action now will appear in court September 28th to set a trial date Sean Murray CFT